Well hey everyone, I just thought I'd, uh, while I was downstairs, I thought I would just do a quick review of the Enzo Trapper. I've uh, been using it for a little while now, so excuse the uh, beaten upness of it, but I um, just thought I'd do a quick lowdown. There's probably millions of these reviews on YouTube, but uh, I just thought I'd show you anyway. Um, because I'm in Australia, everyone else is from everywhere else, so I just thought I'd prove to you that they do exist in Australia, and uh, they can handle other things other than birch that you always hear everyone talking about. So anyway, here it is, the Enzo Trapper. Um, this is uh, basically the stock standard uh, O1 steel Scandi grind with curly birch scales, red liners and uh, brass uh, rivets I suppose. Um, yeah. It's a sturdy knife. It's been designed by people who know their Scandinavian knives. Brisa in Finland pretty much supply the whole world, it seems, with um, Scandinavian supplies for um, knife making. So they've designed this based on their understanding of the best sort of steel and shape. I think it's got a really nice sort of um, elegant line to it. Um, it's all personal conjecture, I suppose, but I think it's great. Feels really great in the hand. I'm actually right-handed, but my left hand will do. Um, feels great in the hand, it's uh, not too long, and uh, unlike a lot of knives, uh, it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to matter that there's a bit of a curve at the end here, or even up the front, it means you can choke on it for different grips. And uh, basically it's very dexterous in the hand, you sort of feel like it can do anything. It's not too heavy, it's quite nicely balanced too. It's not too light, uh, you can tell that it's spelt right by those comments. Um, yeah, it's a four inch blade with roughly the same handle size again and uh, yeah, just feels great in the hand, it's good for carving but also you can batten with it and I know that's a standing joke in Australia it seems with the uh, bushcraft guys but uh, it really does batten and it really does carve just fine um, so if you are stuck and you uh, want to prove that it can batten it does quite handsomely I don't suppose it's ever a question of whether it does batten or not, it's whether or not you want to batten. Um, I might just prove that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so uh, it carves, um, carves really well. I'll just find something to carve. There we go, there's a little piece of dead camphor and uh, it uh, seems to just, you know, the usual, sort of works like a knife. Um, but. Uh, the nice thing is that you can uh, you can choke on it. Uh, it doesn't have a protruding guard or anything there. They seem to have designed it with that in mind. And now uh, you can sort of get right up and use the tip of the blade. And uh, I mean, all, all Scandinavian knives are designed to carve, so it does that job wonderfully well. Sharpens up very well. Very robust sheath. Very thick in comparison with the blade, and uh, comes with a dangler attachment as well as the normal belt loop. And uh, yeah, sturdy as. It's a typical sort of uh, pouch style, doesn't come out, no need for silly little clips or anything. Um, I hope that helps you out guys, and uh, yeah, no worries. Enzo Trapper. There it is.